Hello everyone. Now I am going to discuss the question of the poll which I posted yesterday. Question was, what is the bond order of carbon monoxide ion? Means CO plus. Options were three, three point five, two point five. Those who participated, eighteen percent have said three. Fourteen percent have said three point five. Forty-two percent have said two point five. Nine percent have said my option is not given. Eighteen percent have said I don't know the concept. Let's see what is the right answer, guys. For CO, total number of electrons is forty. For CO, carbon contributes six electrons. Oxygen contributes eight electrons. So total electrons is Fourteen. Now we are not very certain here for order of energies of molecular orbitals, as order is different for carbon and oxygen. If we consider order of energies of molecular orbitals like carbon, then it will be sigma one s two, sigma star one s two, sigma two s two, sigma star two s two, uh, pi two p y two. Pi two p x two sigma two p z two. So the bond order for CO comes as total number of bonding electrons here is ten, and total number of anti-bonding electrons is four. Ten minus four by two, and that comes three. This is the bond order of CO. Now when CO is ionized to CO plus by removal of one electron from Sigma two p z bond order should be reduced to two point five, and bond length should be increased. But the fact is, bond length of C O bond length of C O is one point one two eight angstrom, and that of C O plus is one point one one five angstrom. So actually, it is opposite of our expectation. So the conclusion is, electron should have been removed from anti-bonding molecular orbital. But guys, even if we assume order of molecular orbitals uh, like heavier atom, like oxygen, still fact cannot be explained, guys. Since carbon and oxygen, the electronegativity difference is very high. CO is not a simple homonuclear diatomic molecule. Energy of 2s orbital of carbon that is high and energy of 2s orbital of oxygen that is low. So when these two orbitals are mixed, we get sigma 2s and sigma star 2s molecular orbitals, which differ in energy much more than expected. They are wider apart, and sigma star 2s molecular orbital is higher in energy even than sigma 2pz, pi 2px, and pi 2py molecular orbitals. So here I am going to draw the molecular orbital diagram for CO plus 1s orbital, 1s orbital. These two atomic orbitals will give rise to two molecular orbitals. Sigma one s and sigma star one s. We will fill two two electrons here. Then two s orbital, two s orbital. You get sigma two s and sigma star two s. I'm talking about this cap. Sigma star two s. Now in three p orbitals, three p orbitals combine. Pi two p x and pi two p y will be here. Pi two p x, pi two p y. Even sigma two p z, sigma two p z is here. Pi star two p x, pi star two p y will be here, and then sigma star two p z. Now two electrons will be filled here. One one, then other one one. Two electrons will be filled here, and one electron will be here. 
CO plus total number of electrons is 13. Now bond order here will be how many, how many electrons are there in bonding orbital? Two, this is sigma star, two, 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 two. That means 10. How many electrons in antibonding molecular orbital? Two, one, three. So 10 minus three by two, and that is seven by two, so 3.5. Guys, the bond order of CO plus is 3.5 and with the help of this bond order, we will be able to explain when CO changes to CO plus, why the bond length decreases from 1.128 angstrom to 1.115 angstrom. So please note the bond order of CO plus is 3.5. Congratulations to those who got the right answer. If you have any confusion, you can write in comment section. Wait for the next poll. Till then, bye-bye.